forget that I am cutting it extremely close to the holiday season. And by now, a lot of people are panicking and buying things that they don't really need. But you would think that a convenience store that is open 24-7 at the very least would have some decent chocolate selections. <sighs> Who am I kidding? Maybe it's for the best that they don't have any. After all, who knows what it could do to me now. Uh, oh, sorry, was I blocking your way? Got a bit distracted trying to find something that isn't here. Um, you need to ask me something? Okay. Be completely honest. Well, that sounds like something I should be able to do. What is it? Am I... real? Okay, um... You know what? I think that, um... I should... go. You, um... You should probably talk to someone else. Not me. Just someone else. <laughs> Let go of me, please. Listen, I... I don't mean to be rude, but you do not seem to be in the best state of mind right now. And I would really prefer it if you would... Let me go and just find someone else to talk to, okay? No one else believes you about what you see? Well, I'm sorry about that, but I don't see how I'd be able to help you with that. You... You what? You can see that I'm not human. How about you and I talk outside, okay? No, no, no. Don't give me that look. I am not going to hurt you. I just... I think that it will be easier for you to settle down a bit if you have some fresh air. And to be honest, I would love to have an easy way to get away from you if you try to hurt me. Okay? Okay. Now let's just go outside and we'll talk about this. Just come with me. I promise I'm not going to hurt you unless you try to hurt me. You're not going to do that, right? Good. Then we have an understanding. Neither one of us is going to get hurt. All right, now. Come around this way, okay? We're going this way because... And don't panic when I tell you this. There aren't any cameras back here, but, listen to me, if, if you are seeing what I think you're seeing, I can try to help you, but if other people see this, they are most likely not going to react as Calmly and logically as you currently are, which, props to you. You're taking all of this pretty well, assuming you're seeing what I think you're seeing. What do I think you're seeing? You see wings on me, don't you? And you see green skin, green hair, pitch black eyes. Thought so. 
Yes, to answer your question from earlier, I am real. Yes, I... I swear on my life, I'm completely real. Well, assuming anything in this world is real. Some people think that we're all living in a big simulation and that nothing is actually real. So, operating under the assumption that you are real, I am as real as you are. Okay? Um, hey. Hey, are you... Are you okay? You... You're... Crying. I, uh... I told you I wouldn't hurt you. Are you crying because you're... You're scared of me, or... You're... You're crying because you're... Relieved. You're... You're relieved that... I'm real? I don't mean to be rude, but, um... I know that it's not very easy for a lot of people to accept that... Things like me are real, so, um... Why exactly is this a relief to you? Everyone told you that... You were imagining things? No one ever believed you. Hang on a second. You can... see what I am. Have you seen creatures like me before? Creatures with wings and rainbow-colored skin and pitch-black eyes? You have. I see what the issue is. No, no, no. There isn't anything wrong with you. Well, at least, not according to human standards. The human standards? Congratulations, you are incredibly gifted. By fairy standards, though, you're very dangerous. Yes, I did say by fairy standards, and before you ask, no, I don't mean the fairies that you see in Tinkerbell or other animated movies. What I mean by fairies is... a group of... basically... immortal... Magical creatures that consist of things like pixies, goblins, things like that. Yes. All of those creatures are real. Now before you go panicking about that, let me give you something else to think about. You can see me. You can see me, and that means that that you have true sight. What that means is, and forgive me if this is a bad explanation, I, I haven't known about what I am for very long, so I'm only just now learning about people with the gift that you have. People like you you can see through the magic that I use to make myself look like a human. You can see me for what I really am. And you can also see through all other fairy magic. Yes. That is why you have been able to see creatures like me all your life. You can see those that are out here among the humans. You... You can see... everything for what it really is. What? Is there... 
Is there a way to make it go away? I... I don't know. I really don't know. And if there is, I certainly don't know of it. But at the same time, if there was, and I did know about it, why would I tell you? What do I mean? Why would you ever want to get rid of what you've been given? I don't mean to say that this isn't a challenge for you. Living with something like this and thinking that you're imagining everything or that you're hallucinating everything. That is not easy. I know that. I... I grew up thinking that I was human and... I wasn't. But I didn't know until much, much later in my life. And early on in my life, I had three fairy friends. Everyone told me that I was just lying about having them. That I was lying about them existing. They didn't think it was just my imagination, no. They thought that I was genuinely lying. So I know some of what it's like. I do. But you... You can't give this up, okay? No matter how much you might want to. I'm not saying that that you haven't suffered enough through this. But think of what you've just learned. What you see is real. What you see exists. And in some cases, you can see things that are dangerous to you. Where other people would see something that poses no threat. It's like, like a fish looking at bait on a hook and only being able to see the hook. You can see the danger before it gets you. And right now, things in the world that I guess I belong to, things are changing. And... I don't know how much that will affect this world, the human world. So no matter what, you cannot get rid of this, okay? You just can't. I know. I know it's scary. I know that some days you just wish you could be normal. You wish you could be understood by other people. I know that. I do. But isn't it better to feel like an outcast and be certain that you're safe than, than to live in blissful ignorance and never realize that any moment could be your last? <laughs> You're not exactly sure? Then, let me ask you another question. Do you think that a mouse is happier when it can't see a cat? No, it isn't. It lives in constant fear, running everywhere, hiding everywhere, because it doesn't know where the threat is. It doesn't know. You know. 
you can see ways to get around it. And I know that this is all a lot to take in. But now that you know what you're seeing, you can learn about it. You can learn how to protect the people you love. Isn't that a good thing? You don't know where to start? I... I might be able to help you a little. I don't know much, but... I should be able to help you. I know more than you do about all of this, right? You... don't know if you can trust me. Why is that? Ah, I see. The one thing you do know about fairies like me is that we enjoy making deals. And that humans are often tricked in these deals. Then I'll make it pretty cut and dry, okay? I will help you as much as I possibly can. Now, I don't know everything about this. You know that. And I'm not sure how much I'll actually be able to help you. But I will help you as much as I can. In exchange, can you please find a place that has some decent chocolate and is open at this hour? Yes, I understand that that seems very ridiculous, but you know what? Pixies are ridiculous sometimes. And I'm starting to realize that I'm no different than they are. 